You guys know, look at these maddies before we even start. See how it's longer one way? Shorter the other way? A long way is going over the animal. You want to tuck the Maddie where you can see your forks? When you're going down the trail, you can look back on your screen and you can see that X. If it's like this, you need to stop. We have a, the Park and Forest Service has put out what they call fear load levelers if you need to write your load again. I was just going to say, I was like, all right, let's hear it. What is that? <laughs> but they also ask you that you will take the rock back and place it where you picked it up. <laughs> okay, the reason we bring your Maddie's up, if you take this Maddie and fold it over, the first rock you come to, you just spent 40 bucks on your Oh, thanks. Yeah, I try. Last oh. since they come canvas, leather, all different kinds. This is called, this is burn soap. I prefer them over the standard soap. Why is that? Huh? Why, why is that? See how they're designed? Mm -hmm. So when I wrap this rope, it will basically lock itself. So if you had a standard hook, you throw a half inch in it. Okay, when you adjust your sense, you don't want, we call it metal, be to be the ring or the hook. You don't want that in the mule's belly. It'll wear a hole in them. With the burn suck, it's pretty much locked down. So I got my tight rope. It's gonna go away behind the corner. Behind the corner. If you're packing with your husband or your wife, remember when you snug it up. If he and I are packing, I'm going to pull harder than he is, so what I've done already is win. So you kind of use a little judgment. I like to start my twist up high. Because <coughs> then I'm still locked this in. Or if you do them loose. What I don't want is this down here. So if you start it all tight up here. Okay, see how the rope is down here? You don't want this V right here to hook in here. Because what that'll do is it'll loosen the whole load up. Do you find it easy to tip the mule like that, you know, or, or do you just... I do. Oh, okay, all right, right on. <laughs> That's why these things are bent. Yeah. <laughs> My little boy bent it for me one day. <laughs> Tie it off. I put a half pitch on it to lock it down.
You can lay it up here, tuck it. People used to daisy chain them. It's real cute for a parade. Doesn't work well in the mountain. <laughs> What happens when you do it, it'll fall off. Fall off, pull. And the mm -hmm. pork mule is pooped the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. Can I see, can you show me this, the very end, one more time, like um, this tie, I don't, the tie? you guys have said the half hitch, but I don't know what that means. When you're learning, it'll take you longer to tie this knot right here mm -hmm. than the whole entire, and I don't know why. <laughs> And what I'm showing you here, is it's worked for me for 35 years. This is not the only way to do it. Frank's going to do it a little different. We're all going to get down the road. So what you need to do is watch me, or watch somebody else. Take from me, take from them, and go, oh, I don't, that's stupid over there. Over here, man, I like that. Okay. Pulled up. Mm -hmm. Come through, cross it over. Over. Gonna half hitch it, coil it up. Okay, if you've tied this hitch correctly, As you go down the trail, this cinch will become loose. And when it's tied correctly, you can hang that right there, and it won't move. Wow. You only hang that to doing when it's on there, because if you watch them as you go, it'll just go lower and lower and lower. You go upside down, it's going to keep your boxes from flying out. <laughs> the diamond hitch, on the other hand, if it goes lower and lower and lower, you best stop and retie it because it's about to blow up. That's the one where the rope being loose means the load's coming off. Yep. Okay. This is. And if you're close enough to camp and you got a creek, let them swell their little bellies up and go on. Right? Yep. <laughs> In the springtime, a lot of the mules are, are going to be grass fat. I don't care if the load is balanced within a half a pound. Them barrel bellied mules, yep. it'll go. Boom. And the sad part is, it never happens when nobody's around. There'll be 10 people standing there when it flips upside down. And then I catch you go, you're the professional, right? <laughs> So there's just nothing to do about that. They're just sometimes going to roll over. Until okay. they start losing that summer grass. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> Any questions? Very good job. That was very good. Thanks, Jerry. Excellent. Who's up? These guys, for sure. For sure. <laughs> That'll probably be the first track. Perfect. <laughs> Knowing me. <laughs> yep. Alright. Flip it over. Flip it over. There you go. Okay, the hook always faces to the back of the animal. Reason being, if you face it the other way, you get in the brush pile, you'll, you'll hang. You're doing good. So then you wrap it again, right? Yeah, pull it tight. Yep. Okay, if, if you can't, okay, see, you gotta be between the forks. There you go. There you go. And then we throw the rest of it over, right? Okay, if, if you can't, take it around. <coughs> so hold it till you get over there. 
throwing the fence and throwing the rope is a great thing if you got a broke animal. If the animal's not broke, it ain't gonna work. We were packing deer season. Four guys come in, brand new shafts, brand new hats. Oh. Go ahead, I can do two things at once. <laughs> Had a colt tied with 10 foot of lead rope to the two horse trailer. They were quiet, had the load up there. The guy walked up with a tarp. They had a three piece pack saddle. Shafts were ripped off of them. We didn't laugh very hard. <laughs> Just very long. Yeah. Until you know your animal and, and you want to do this at home, don't show up at the trailhead and go, we're going packing. Pack them at home, get them in a corral. Find out what they're going to put up, what they're not going to put up. I used to break mine, empty cans, and we get going down the road and everything was going good. Drop a Pepsi can inside that aluminum box and see how they do. Mm -hmm. Frank will no pack at the pack station. You have horses that will take anything. You have them that will not take noise. And if you pack the one that doesn't take noise, you will have a very long day. The idea of packing is to pack at the dock or the trailhead and go in. Unpack where you're going. Not pack this hour, pack that hour, pack the next hour. It's just, but you need to work with your animals at home in a controlled environment where you know where it's gonna work. Okay, so tie them down. See the box right there? So you want to take a tight rope behind? Go ahead and finish it. I don't know how to finish it. <laughs> Pull this rope. Pull that rope. Tie it on. This is yeah. No pressure. At all. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, come on. Jerry, look over there for a minute. <laughs> okay. Come up. Cross it over. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah that, that's easy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's so easy. Oh, my. Go in. There you go. Pull, you, pull you some rope. Pull on the side. Cross it over. <laughs> Don't worry, I want the Boy Scout either. I know. Oh, my gosh, I'm so Cross confused. it over. Take it back around. I thought this good how to tie his shoes. Come right here. He wears boots. What do you want from me? <laughs> hey, good for you, man. I That's still easy. don't understand. <laughs> All right, we'll see. You want to put a half inch on If you have a ham sandwich, which side do you put it on? Are you left or right handed? <laughs> Both. <laughs> if you have heart medication, <laughs> Where should your heart medication be? On you, in your pockets. <sighs> Not look at the packer and go, it's in one of those 15 oh, mules. No. True story. Wow. My first words when I had my people with me was, how many are on medication? You ever heard from Herb and 